Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Farah Sheikh and in today's video, we are going to see what is spell error and how to fix that. So let's get started. Well, if you're using Microsoft 365 or Office 365 or also Excel for web, then you might have experienced this error in the journey when you're creating your formulas. Now, why this error occurs? Well, Microsoft have introduced his new calculation engine for the dynamic arrays. So whenever you are constructing a formula with an array or you're returning the range of an array, then in that case, the formula will give you a spill error if you have any obstruction in the cell. So let's see things in action, what exactly happens. So I have a worksheet over here. Now I have some set of data from cell A1 to A10. Now I would just like to pick up this range and let's say I'm just selecting over here and I will hit enter. Now this is that spill error. Now if you click on this exclamation icon, it says spill range is in blank. Now I have this data over here, the value over here blocking. Now if I delete that, now you can see that information has spilled across. Let's say if you have a space as well, then again you will get a spill error. And even if the cells are merged, as you can see over here, the cells are merged, you are still getting that spill error. Now if I unmerge them, then that information will spill properly across the cell range. Now this is very handy when you are constructing some great formulas and I have showed in some of my previous video, you can go and check there. And another example which I would like to show to you with this spill error, let's say that we are doing an X lookup, okay. And in the X lookup, I just want to look up these values and my lookup error is over here, comma, and my return value is the city names. Now, when I will close the parentheses, enter, it says that my formula is entered beyond the edge of the worksheet. That means it is more than 1 million records, which I'm trying to spill them out and Excel cannot hold it that one. So in that case, I can use that implicit operator, which is an add rate. If I'll say yes, it will give me that result. So if I'll drag this down, now you can see I'm getting that results over here. Perfect. So one more way, what we can spill out the results, instead of selecting the entire column, I will just go and say X lookup, look up these values, comma, and this is my ID because I'm looking the same IDs and lookup error is also the same. Coming back to my cities, close parentheses, enter. Now it is able to spill that information all across my sheets and then I can apply another formula which is called transpose and I can use that and it will spill across my columns. So rows and columns I can just switch it uh, without pressing control shift enter. That's a great thing about dynamic arrays. So I hope my friends this spill error video might be helpful for you to fix your spill errors and now you know what is in spill error. So make sure that you like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel and feel free to log into my website. You can register on the forums and post your queries over there and I'll be happy to answer you along with the other experts. So till then, take care, happy learning. See you soon. Bye.